Hey, what's up, YouTube? Casual Yu Gi Star back bringing you guys another Yu Gi Oh opening video. In today's video, it's Yu Gi Oh 5Ds. It's a Power Tool Dragon European tin that we will be opening, hoping to pull some epic ghost rares. This was sent to me by Clerk's Trading, so thank you, Clerk's. I picked this up at their website at a really good price. So if you want to check out Clerk's Trading, guys, link down below, especially for the UK people out there who are watching this video. Clerk's have some really cool cards, and I will probably be doing a video someday where I review their website just to show you what kind of good things are on there and what stills you should be picking up and if you want to open some old nostalgic stuff like this tin then definitely check them out. I'm giving away this Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Portuguese first edition boost pack for this video guys. All that you need to do is leave a like, be a subscriber and leave a comment down below. What was your favourite pull from today's video? It's been a while since my last upload guys. Legacy week with the reprint sets was such a fantastic week where we opened so many of these. You guys absolutely love these and I really appreciate all the new people who've jumped on board and have subscribed to the channel because we've seen some incredible growth over the last couple of weeks, so thank you. And with that said, I can confirm very positively that I will be doing a GX week where I will be opening specific products related to the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series. And just before we get into this video, I just want to show you a few things that I've picked up, such as these five European Enemy of Justice first edition packs. These are beautiful. We will be opening these sometime coming whenever GX week does take place. Then we've also got some Korean stuff here, guys, some Korean booster boxes. Uh, later GX sets as well, Force of the Breaker, uh, Tactical Evolution, and of course uh, Enemy of Justice. So if you're excited for GX Week, let me know in the comments section below, guys. I have picked up some more uh, TCG stuff as well. It's not just OCG. So if you actually aren't a fan of these, these are really good. You can find ultimate rares in them quite easily. I'll be doing these as box break, guys. So let me know on Instagram if you're keen or want to get involved in those box breaks. They'll be very, very cheap, probably be around one pound a pack. So let me know if you want to get involved. Anyway, it's time to rev it up with a Power Tool Dragon tin. I haven't actually opened up one of these in a while. And just FYI, guys, I'm opening this tin against my buddy Creed. So Creed is also another Yugi tuber. So he said, casual, pick up something and open it uh, against me. I think he's opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, so check out his channel, guys. He's a really cool guy. Um, and yeah, we said we'd do a battle and... Uh, for whatever reason, it's uh, taking me so long to do this video, but uh, hopefully we're going to pull something good. What do you get out of here? Let's find out. I think you get... This is a European tin, so you don't get many first edition packs. Oh, we got Ancient Prophecy first then. That's nice. So our Power Tool Dragon is here. Check that out. That looks pretty sweet. Very shiny, actually. Very glossy. Um, still about a $5 card. Uh, this one actually looks really, really minty. So this one even might be worthwhile grading, even though I do already own in PSA 10. What packs do we have inside of here, guys? We have five packs, I believe. We have two First Edition Ancient Prophecy, nice. Unlimited Raging Battle and Unlimited Crimson Crisis. So five pretty cool nostalgic booster packs. Let's get them cracked. So I think I want to start with Crimson Crisis. We have pulled the Ghost Rare, or Red Dragon Archery in Assault Mode, which in my opinion is the best looking Ghost Rare in the entire game, if you want a card to stare at for many hours, you should definitely pick up Red Dragon Archery in Assault Mode, whether it be First Edition or Unlimited, doesn't really matter. But it's a, such a nice Ghost Rare, guys. Assault Mercenary, Alien Overload, and just a Flip Flop Frog. Pretty cool set, though. These cards smell <sighs> amazing. Let's go to Raging Battle for the second pack of the video, guys. Um, we have also pulled the Ghost Rare. Power Tool Dragon many times. I think actually a couple of times. Um, even in first edition as well. So Vanguard of the Dragon, Black Whirlwind, Morphtronic Blind, Phoenixian Seed, and a Brain Golem. Trap Stun, Mind Trust, Attack of the Kondrat, and a Rose Tentacles, and a Kiza card. Very nice. I'm probably going to save the first edition Age of Prophecies last because they're first edition. So if we do pull anything huge, um, it's going to be from these two packs, I hope. So let's see what we can get out of our Crimson Crisis next pack. Come on, give me a foil. Seed Cannon. Uh, Morphtronic Borden. Trap Reactor Wi-Fi. Gladiator Beast. Salmonite. And the final witch ulti! Let's go! So we did pull an ulti! This is actually a stunning looking ultimate rare, guys, and Blackwing Borrow the Spear. What a nostalgic card that is, as well as Gale the Whirlwind. We pulled another ulti to add to our ultimate rare counter. That's insane, guys. We did get an ulti. Wow. I wish this was first edition, but it's still a gorgeous looking unlimited ultimate rare, guys. I'm not going to complain. Violet Witch, one that I've never really considered. It's very strange. It's 1100, 1200. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, add one plant type monster with 1500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. It's not great. 
but it's still a really nice looking one. Really cool pull. So we're in a good position. It wasn't a dud tin. When I say dud tin, that means no hollows out of five packs. Because most tins back in the day uh, came with five packs. And if you don't get a hollow foil, even, you know, like a super rare, we call that a dud tin. So we're in a good position, guys. We haven't got a dud tin and we already and we also have our first edition packs now. So we have a sunny pixie, very nice. Spirit barrier. Fossil Dig, Fortune Lady Light, and X Saber Goddams Ulti! What? Back to back Ultis! Oh my god! I thought we are. Uh... Oh! Goddams! What? What? Guys, this is insane! Gotham's. This is like a $50 card. Scary Moth first, this is first edition Alties. Yo, <laughs> my first video back in a while. I haven't opened up any Yu-Gi-Oh products in like 10 days, guys, and I'm so happy. It's very OC as well. Look at the top to bottom, it's quite miscut, but still that's a pack fresh. Two Alties, guys, what? Sometimes it's really good to open tins because you do get random ratios. These packs don't come from booster boxes, even though we confirmed these booster boxes do exist. Wow. Okay, last pack of the video, guys. Let's see if we can get anything else. I thought we had the Ghost Rare there. Like, a little part of me kind of thought we had the Ghost Rare, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, that's mental. Hmm, smells quite good. Anyway, more upside down cards. Interesting. So, we have a Pixie Ring, again, with Battle Ox there. We have a Cyborg Doctor. We have an X Saber Ragigura. A Aegis of the Ocean Dragon Lord. Falcon B. Oh, and a skill successor super rare. I will happily take that, guys. Another foil. Three out of five. That was insane, guys. Look at these beautiful pulls that we had from our tin. Absolutely insane, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're excited for GX Week. Or we'll be opening some epic GX products. And keep it casual, and I'll make sure to see you in the next video. See you later. Ciao for now.